Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays POA82123? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does POA82123 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Toyota, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code POA82123 interpret specifically Toyota car manufacturers? The basic definition is Rear wheel speed comparative performance. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. With the ignition on, no system under voltage or over voltage condition present, no open or shorted wheel speed sensor DTC set, vehicle not under high acceleration, and vehicle speed greater than zero this DTC will set if either one wheel is sensed above a predetermined range for 5000 milliseconds while the other wheels are below 20% of maximum velocity of all wheels or if more than one wheel is sensed at below 20% of maximum velocity of all wheels while at least least one wheel is sensed above a predetermined range the condition must exist for two minutes for this DTC to set if the number of missing sensors changes at any update, the fault monitor is reset. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Intermittent rear wheel speed sensor DTC B222 rear wheel speed sensor supply circuit short to GROUND B22 rear wheel speed sensor signal circuit short to GROUND B222 rear wheel speed sensor supply circuit OPEN B22 rear wheel speed sensor signal circuit OPEN B222 rear wheel speed sensor supply circuit shorted to VOLTA GE B22 rear wheel speed sensor signal circuit shorted to VOLTA GEB 
rear wheel speed sensor supply circuit shorted to the B22 rear wheel speed sensor signal CIRCUITTONEWHELEXCESSIVE rear wheel speed sensor air GAPWHELBEARINGREAR wheel speed SENSORANTI lock brake module. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.